Well, my faithful moonbeams, now that all the distractions are out of the way, uh, let's focus on going from the superheroes to a more simpler time. Or is it a more devastating time? You be the judge. The Sound of Music starring... Uh, Mary Poppins, Julie Andrews. And even though this film came out in the 1940s, it was the 1950s. She hasn't aged a day. Oh, she colors her hair. Julie Andrews, do you color your hair? Because it still looks the same color to me. Either way, your face still looks the same. Are you like my mom? Or you don't age? Or like me, even? I mean, I'm in my 40s. Yeah, so the way it is with some of us, uh, we just don't seem to age. I guess Julie Andrews is one of those people. Uh, but anyways, back to her movie, The Sound of Music. Uh, I give it an M for movie me so unapproved. And The Sound of Music actually has a an intermission halfway in around the time where she returns to the convent. Of course, I think it was based on a play. And they did have intermission. They do have intermissions in a play. However, when they put cats on a video, they don't have an intermission at all. It's only a two-hour-long video of a play, and there's no intermission. Although I do know where the intermission's at, where the intermission should be. But there's no intermission. And in the sound of music, there is an intermission. And when you go see, when I went to go see, last movie I saw that had an intermission in it was Aladdin. And it was when the Sultan met Prince Ali. He comes down off of his throne after playing with his little figurines to meet Prince Ali, and you cut to an intermission for some obscure reason. Yeah, when you watch the movie on DVD or video, if you watch it on a video cassette or a DVD, there's no intermission cut at all. It's just one long movie. Boom. But in the theater, there was an intermission. Right after the Prince Ali number. <clears throat> in The Sound of Music, the intermission comes just as she's leaving the Von Traps and going back to the convent. Nowadays, if you make a movie that long, there is no intermission at all. There is... They make the... Uh, the... The Sound of Music is a three-hour-long film. 
believe it's three hours long. Let's check that. Let's check the runtime on this, shall we? Let's see if we can find the runtime. Let's see here. Runtime. Runtime, runtime. Let's see, we have video specs. Right. English Dolby Digital. Uh, subtitles in English. Uh, dual layer uh, color. Ah, here we are. Uh, 175 minutes long. Yes, 175 minutes. Let's see. Uh, 120 minutes. That's two hours. Uh, add 60 minutes to that. That's three hours. Uh, so, let's see, it's at 75, so 60 is three hours, so, let's see, 120 is two hours, because you have 60 minutes is one hour, plus another 60 is 120, then you have another 60, which would be 100. Uh, let's see. Add 60 more to the 120 is uh, 180, I think. 120, 30, 40, 50. 120. 130, 140. Okay, 50. Okay, half hour is 150. 20, 30, 30, 40, 50. Let's see, let's see, I'm trying to figure out. One, 175 minutes. So, Blu-ray is 174 minutes. The Blu-ray is one minute shorter. But the uh, DVD is 175, so... We'll go with that, so let's see. That's it. So, 120 is 2 hours. And 3 and 60. Let's see. 30, 40, 50. Okay, 70. So it's almost three hours long. Too many distractions, I tell ya. Problem with uh, filming outdoors. No, oh, that's our neighbor's dog in the back. So, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So, 2 hours and 55 minutes long. And there's an intermission in there. Nowadays, movies are three hours long. Nowadays, movies are even longer than that. I mean, have you seen Avengers Infinity War? Or uh, Avengers, even? Or Thor? Or uh, I, I mean, any of the Marvel movies. Just Just watch any of the Marvel movies. You have a three hour long film. And it's like, 
and you don't even get an intermission, like, maybe we're interrupted. It's like three hours long, no intermission. You have to sit through the entire film. No pee breaks. Sorry, people. Uh, but, uh, M for Movie Mesa and approved.